Who are you anticipating? Because you want to ask questions that you already know the answer to, and you ask them who you're taking at six. Who are you anticipating? Brad Holmes says. He will say uh, from Texas Tech, Tyrese Wilson. Tyrese, okay. Bam. And at 18, he will say, and I might have to nudge him this way, but he will say Quentin Johnson, the wide receiver from TCU. Hmm. He, he likes his big receivers. He likes skilled players. Uh, and not that uh, Tyrese Wilson isn't, but skilled offensive players. And I think they've collected enough cornerbacks for now uh, that they don't need to go in that direction. So if you guys want to put that in your little mock draft, yeah, go right ahead. Make, make some notes on that. Did you hear John earlier? Because I know you just listen to the station constantly. He brought yeah, up yeah, yeah, yeah. He brought up Jake Moody and saying, if you want him, he might not be there in the fifth. He might have to trade up into the fourth. Wojo, Block M, yeah. Michigan I said Moody. It with a deeper voice, but yeah. <laughs> What, how would you feel about that? Fourth round is a little high for me because, first of all, the money badger is not bad. It's badly. Um, and, I, I mean, I would take Moody in the sixth or seventh round. The one thing with Moody, he's, he's not deadly accurate from, from great distance. He's, you're not getting Justin Tucker, if that's what people think. You're getting incredible accuracy, accuracy from everywhere else on the field. But I, 50 plus, I think he was only like three for seven or something this past year, something like that. He did make a 59 um, yard field goal. Yep. Just, just so. Oh, please. Okay. Everybody in the NFL can do that. My goodness. <laughs> okay. But, so uh, the guy they have on the roster now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, except for him. But, um, but yeah, uh, fifth round, fourth round, I mean. Are we quibbling? I guess I am a little bit. That that seems a little bit. Well, high. Are you new to this? We quibble. It's what we do. We've been quibbling oh. for for weeks and months. And then we quiver when draft day um, <laughs> because we don't. And here here's my rule. Okay, since you're asking about the draft, and and I do think Tyrese Wilson. He's not even necessarily the safe pick. He just might be the only logical pick left for them at number six. I only have two rules for Brad Holmes in the first round. And I will present them to him on a piece of paper uh, today. Uh, two things he cannot do in the first round, okay? He cannot draft Jalen Carter, and he cannot draft a quarterback. Those are my only two rules and uh, in the first round. And I'm going to be firm on that. Unless, uh, and even if uh, C.J. Stroud drops you 18th in the way he seems to be dropping, no, I don't think that's possible. But still, those are my two rules. I don't so, want to go for uh, the, the risk. The okay, so it's not. Is it a a risk? Too much of a risk for Jalen Carter. That that's basically what you're saying at six. Yes. And here's the other thing with Jalen Carter, and also with don't draft a quarterback. Listen, the Lions have built everything around culture, right? Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes, and I know in the past in football, oh, culture, we're changing the culture, winning culture, and it didn't mean much. But the Lions have built their entire foundation, the entire tenant of their beliefs on that very thing. So if they t- take Jalen Carter, I think that would call into question the deepness or sincerity of their culture. And I think the same thing if they, if they reach for a quarterback high because they've gone all in on Jared Goff. And it doesn't mean you don't go get another quarterback at some point. It w- wouldn't. Listen, you guys believe in Campbell and Holmes. Everybody does. Mm-hmm. We all have Jared Goff. Oh, we're set. Oh, he's our quarter. Uh, with the number six pick, we take C.J. Stroud. You don't think that's a conflict of cultural Well, Wojo, right be, there? be careful about quoting some things and not all things. They've also told Jared Goff, we're, we're having ongoing conversations. He won't be surprised. They have not extended him. They have not offered him an extension. And they've said, we don't think he's going to be here for 10 years. So they, it's not out of the question, just based on public comment, that they would take one if the guy was there, right? Well, I'm not ju- just doing it on public comment. It's not only what they say about culture. It's what they've done. Okay. It's, they've shown it in action. The one guy that you could argue that maybe didn't fit that cultural profile, Jamison Williams, people still have questions on. And it's, I, go on, I go on actions. I know people get caught up in words, and, and, and it, they can say it, but until they back it up, 
they're going to tell Jared Goff what everything, you know, everything and everything in case uh, they do something falls into the lap. But I would be shocked if they took a quarterback in the first round. So by that theory, then, in regards to Jalen Carter and culture, it would be a, you know, uh, a veer off of that path. Are you are you expecting them with their first round pick, as long as Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell are here, to always take choir boys? No, 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 not choir boys. And 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 like I said, Jamison Williams, uh, not not um, I don't know about his choir boyish niche, but certainly the injury factor that was that was a risk. No, no. Um, and, and people uh, people like Aiden Hutchinson, but I don't think you can call him a choir boy. He doesn't play like a choir boy. He plays maniacal, which is which oh. is. Awesome. I, I just think with Jalen Carter, there's just, and I hate using the phrase, but oh, there's just too many red flags. And, and, and a position that you don't need, it sounds like, oh, if we could just get that one position, that's not him. And, and, and to be honest, you know, there's even questions about Will Anderson and his size, which, which I totally get. But I would, if somehow he's there, I would take will anderson but um no no i don't want to make this like they're never going to take any risks so like i pointed out one example um but why take that risk there 